And of course, we're really happy to have with us uh, the wife of His Excellency, the Ambassador of Greece, Mrs. El Pida. And of course, we're going to know more of the interesting, let's say, food that you are going to present. So we're really happy to have you here. Thank you very much. So there are plenty of very tasty Greek plates which however I cannot show you right now. I will show you something very simple that all the people can prepare with easy ingredients, very healthy ingredients and ve really very tasty. We will prepare uh, a Greek salad. Uh, in Greece we call it village salad. This salad that we will prepare tonight has a small twist to a more to a, a different direction. It will be a classic Greek salad, but we will add one or two more ingredients. Uh, it will have more a character from the island of Crete. Uh, you probably heard of the Cretan diet, which is really very healthy based on uh, uh, organic ingredients and excellent Greek olive oil. And it's healthy and Crete is also famous for longevity, so people live very long and they are very healthy mm -hmm. uh, using this uh, kind of nutrition. And it's also famous for the diet, for the shape, for health and for all this. Of course, all of us like to be healthy and in shape, of course. so this salad will be really good for us to of know course. more about. It's very easy to prepare, yes. very so easy to prepare. Uh, so, I start uh, from the different element, which actually the Greek salad has, uh, the ingredients of the classic Greek salad is tomatoes, cucumber, olives, uh, green and uh, brown Kalamata olives or olives from other places from Greece. Also uh, paprika, sweet paprika, uh, onion, and feta cheese. Mm -hmm. And we add at the end uh, some um, oregano, which is from the Greek mountains, mm -hmm. uh, some um, capers, mm -hmm. and I like also mint. Mm -hmm. That's it's good. really nice. Yeah. So I start putting in the bowl these rusks. This is the entire rusk. Here I have cut it in pieces. Mm -hmm. So, let's start cutting this. It's not too hard, you can find. These are Cretan rusks. Of course, here you cannot find Cretan rusks. But you can, any rusk you find, yes. preferably um, not the white ones, the wheat ones, mm -hmm. uh, the ones with, uh, which are more healthy, yes. the dark ones, yes. they are better. The one in the full wheat itself. Yeah. Exactly, so you, you put them on the bottom of your bowl, mm -hmm. L just like this. Mm -hmm. Now, you add the tomatoes, here are um, cherry or plum tomatoes, you can use any kind of tomato. So we spread the tomatoes. The tomatoes yes. Now here I have cucumber. Yes. I peel the cucumber. You can either peel or not peel. Now I have peeled. So this is what I put. Now I mix a little bit mm -hmm. the tomatoes with the cucumber. And I add some uh, olives. olives. I add some olives. Now, I will put the onions. I have chopped some onion, thin slices. Uh, this is a normal onion, the round onion, but you can add also some scallions, some spring onion. This is a more modern twist. Mm -hmm. Now, I add part of it. Not much, not much. And usually we put the onion uh, last minute because if you leave it, it smells the whole salad with onion and it's not the very best. Mm -hmm. Now, I put also the cucumber, the, the, excuse me, the paprika. It's time now to add the feta cheese. Mm -hmm. I have 
uh, sliced. I have cut it in, in cubes. Uh, or you can cut it in sticks, or you can put the entire, um, you know, the, the entire the packet. We put also the feta cheese. Mm -hmm. Now, we add... The most important... Uh, no, let's the add salt. first... This is the olive oil. This is the olive and oil. And of course, we know that uh, Greece is well known with producing oil, uh, uh, olives and the and oil the itself. Oil. Yes. We uh, think and we claim that ours is the best globally. Yes. So, we put some olive oil, not too much. Mm -hmm. Now, the next thing I put is little, not much, of this uh, Greek... Um, Oregano. Mm -hmm. um, Oregano is a very genuine Greek uh, product, so to say. However, we must be careful in using it. We put just very little, because if you put a lot, it gets a, a taste like a bitter taste, yes. like a bitter taste. So it needs just very little. Now, the last, the last two ingredients, are uh, capers, mm -hmm. capers, how they are pronounced, yes. capers, which are really very, very tasty. Mm -hmm. Now, if you put capers because they are salty themselves, you try to reduce a little bit the salt that you have added before. Yes. Um, and finally, my preference, is mint mm -hmm. some leaves of mint it's very greek yes and as you said for the audience if you'd like to know the taste and feel greece you have to do this of course and, they... and it's very easy for everybody to do it you see very few ingredients very easy mm -hmm. to find ingredients very easy